Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a cook and clean with me power hour. And I thought it would give y'all some really awesome cleaning motivation. And I'm starting off at 2.20, so the goal is to get done by 3.20. And the first thing I want to do is actually start the marinade for my recipe. It's going to be an Asian chicken marinade. So obviously I need some chicken and then I'm also going to need some pepper and some salt, some soy sauce. You can use light or regular soy sauce. I also have some rice wine vinegar, some minced garlic to speed up the process. Then I also am using some miso paste and then I'm going to use red pepper flakes and a little bit of sugar. So first things first is to put the chicken in a bowl and then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of sugar. And then to balance out the sugar, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar to add in some acidity. Then I'm going to add in a tablespoon of soy sauce and I'm going to add in a tablespoon of miso paste, a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic, and then just a little bit of red pepper flake as much as you like. If you like it really spicy you can add more. And then I'm going to finish that off with just a teeny tiny bit of salt since I did use soy sauce. And then I'm going to put in some freshly cracked black pepper. Now it's time to mix all this together. And I just used my hands for this, but I did remove my ring just so they don't get any cross-contamination. And it's time to just get in there and massage the marinade into the chicken to make sure it is completely coated and well incorporated. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the chicken into a Ziploc bag just to make sure that it stays contained and there's no cross contamination when I put it in the fridge. Then I got a clean bowl and a little thing you're going to want to do here is make sure that you squeeze all of the air out of the bag and then you're going to put the bag into the bowl just to make sure that it doesn't drip anywhere and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes just to let it marinate and of course you could let it marinate for as long as you like but because I'm doing a power hour I want to make sure I get it done fast. Then the first thing I'm going to get started on is a load of laundry. While the laundry is going, I'm going to go ahead and load up the dishwasher. that I'm going to get started by hand washing the rest of the dishes in the sink. Our 
changing get done was to wipe down all of my counters and my stove top.
just decided to set out this little basket that I got from Hobby Lobby along with some fresh fruit. And then I got these cute white and blue nesting bowls from my Fat Fun Box. And I decided those would be a cute little addition to some home decor on the counter. Next thing to do was clean the mirrors and medicine cabinets in both bathrooms and then I also went ahead and cleaned out the toilets in both bathrooms as well. It's just my default town management tool for getting rid of fools lining up. But we might have a good thing. You bring out the best in me. I don't know why or how. With you. final thing that I went to get done was just clearing off the dining table because I knew I only had a little bit of time left I need to get that chicken cooked so basically for this I just needed to clear off the table and put everything in the right spot I didn't have like dishes or anything so that made it a lot easier So to cook the chicken, I just turned my stove onto medium-high heat and put the chicken in a hot skillet with a little bit of olive oil. And because my chicken was a little thicker, I just stick it in the oven for about like 7-8 minutes just to make sure that it was cooked all the way through. But you can see here it got nice and crispy and the sugar will caramelize a little bit in the pan which is really delicious, creates good crust. And then I just decided to serve it with some brown rice and then I sliced up the chicken. Make sure you let it rest for about five minutes if you can just to keep those juices inside. And then I also added in some green beans. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Power Hour Cook and Clean with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye!